The latest and greatest advancements in military hardware and future weaponry paint a scarily accurate and dangerous view of the world of warfare in coming years. The Pentagon recently requested its largest ever investment in innovation and next-generation weapons as the United States eyes increased military capabilities by its great power competitors China and Russia. The request includes funds to build up the military's newest service, be it aircraft, tanks, ships, missiles, and so on. Today, the Buzz would like to present the first part of the 10 future weapons of USA, so stay tuned. So, let's start with Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. The X-51 is an unmanned research scramjet experimental aircraft for hypersonic flight at Mach 5 or 5,300 km per hour and an altitude of 21,000 meters. The aircraft was designated X-51 in 2005. It completed its first powered hypersonic flight on 26 May 2010. After two unsuccessful test flights, the X-51 completed a flight of over 6 minutes and reached speeds of over Mach 5 for 210 seconds on 1 May 2013 for the longest-duration powered hypersonic flight. The Air Force Research Laboratory believes the successful flight will serve as research for practical applications of hypersonic flight, such as missiles, reconnaissance, transport, and air-breathing first stage for a space system. Up next, we have the FAX, which is a development and acquisition program for a future sixth generation air superiority fighter to replace the United States Navy's FA 18EF Super Hornet beginning in late 2020s. The concept is a tailless twin engine stealth fighter available in manned and unmanned configurations. It has canards, which usually comprises the frontal radar cross section, but lack of a tail shows an emphasis on all aspect stealth. It also has divertless supersonic inlets similar to the F-35. Up next is the Large Future Surface Combatant. The U.S. Navy is planning to get serious about a next-generation Large Surface Combatant and they are planning to kick off a five-year research, testing and design effort for its next generation of Large Surface Combatant, according to Navy budget documents released recently. The Large Surface Combatant Program is looking to install older, proven systems into a new hull design that incorporates platform flexibility and growth capabilities to meet projected future fleet system requirements. Next is the Columbia-class submarine, formerly known as the Ohio Replacement Submarine and SBNX Future Follow-on Submarine, is an upcoming class of nuclear submarines designed to replace the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines in the United States Navy. The first submarine is scheduled to begin construction in 2021 and enter service in 2031. This class will take over the role of submarine presence in the United States Strategic Nuclear Force and the design and technology development of the Columbia class is projected to cost $4.2 billion. It will have a submerged displacement of 20,810 long tons and having a length of 560 feet and 43 feet in diameter as long as the Ohio class design. Up next is the Lockheed Martin SR-72, which is an American hypersonic UAV concept intended for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, proposed privately in 2013 by Lockheed Martin as a successor to the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The company expected SR-72 test vehicle could fly by 2023. With the growth of anti-satellite weapons, area denial tactics, and counter-stealth technologies, it was thought that a high-speed aircraft could penetrate protected airspace and observe or strike a target before enemies could detect or intercept it. It will be equipped with a single full-scale engine to maneuver for several minutes at a speed of Mach 6 and will be capable of firing hypersonic missiles. Next is the double FGX, which is the notional designation for a class of multi-mission guided missile frigates for the United States Navy, contracted from July 2020. The U.S. Navy wants a frigate that can keep up with the aircraft carriers and have sensors networked with the rest of the fleet to expand the overall tactical picture available to the group. The double FGX will possess the ability to robustly defend itself during conduct of independent operations while connected and contributing to the fleet tactical grid. 
In January 2019, the U.S. Navy announced that the new frigate will have a minimum of 32 Mark 41 vehicle launch system cells aboard the ship for primary anti-air warfare for self-defense or escort missions. Up next is the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray. This is an aerial refueling military drone that resulted from the carrier-based aerial refueling system program, which grew out of the earlier unmanned carrier launch airborne surveillance and strike program. The aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs. However, it still features a stealthy fuselage shaping flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar and V-tail. It was designed for having a stealthy strike platform capable of penetrating enemy air defenses. Boeing's MQ-25 design is powered by one Rolls-Royce AE-300 7N turbofan engines, delivering 4,500 kg of thrust. It is a variant of the engine used to power the Navy's MQ-4C Triton. Up next is the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. This is an American heavy bomber under development for the United States Air Force by Northrop Grumman. As part of the long-range strike bomber program, it is to be an advanced, very long-range, large, heavy payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the United States Air Force, able to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. The bomber is expected to enter service by 2025. It is designed to be able to penetrate the most advanced enemy air defenses after traveling thousands of miles from the safety of its home base. Once it arrives in its operating area, the B-21 will have a devastating and diverse payload of weaponry. It will carry a diverse array of munitions, including nuclear weapons. Up next, we have the S-97 Raider. This is a high-speed scout and attack compound helicopter based on the advancing blade concept with a coaxial rotor system under development by Sikorsky Aircraft. Sikorsky planned to offer it for the United States Army's Armed Aerial Scout program along with other possible uses. The S-97 made its first maiden flight on 22 May 2015. It has a flyby wire control and dynamic anti-vibration actuators to cancel out shaking. Based on the technology from Sikorsky X2 demonstrator, the prototype S-97 will be powered by a General Electric YT706 turboshaft. A more powerful engine developed under the improved turbine engine program is expected to become available. And lastly, we have the ground-based strategic deterrent, which is a U.S. land-based intercontinental ballistic missile system in the early stages of development, slated to replace all 450 Minuteman III missiles in service with the United States Air Force from 2027 onwards. The new missiles to be phased in over a decade from the late 2020s are estimated over a 50-year life cycle to cost around $86 billion. Boeing and Northrop Grumman competed for the contract. One of these companies was selected to produce a ground-based nuclear ICBM in 2020. The W87 Mod 1 thermonuclear warhead was selected for GBSD, replacing the W78 warhead currently used in Minuteman 3. The GBSD program is expected to enter service in 2027. And with that, we've come to the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our new videos. Thank you guys for viewing and bye-bye.